It's Saturday. We do In Your House every other week, and that's what we have for you tonight. Let's stop with the intros, and let's get into some good wrestling. Yo, so as I said, let's stop with the, the simple intros, but we do have coming to the ring the dragon starting us off tonight on in your house and uh he's been getting a lot of shine here lately not a lot of wins but the following contest is scheduled for one fall making his way to the ring from kyoto japan weighing in at 210 pounds the dragon yamamoto suzuki Anyway, um, but yeah, no, maybe, you know, his good friend Curtis Albright getting a win yesterday on Voltage, even though he got taken out of his shoe shortly after, uh, maybe, maybe, that'll, maybe that'll inspire him, uh, but he's got a, a task ahead of him as he is facing Jaden Shadow. God, I thought I told him to stop doing that, <sighs> but anyway, um, <laughs> Uh, anyway, we have to uh, pay attention because he is facing the currently unbeaten Jaden Shadow, um, and I don't I don't know. So he did a promo last week, and he legitimately was just like, "I'm calling out the world champion." Purred, purred. Ain't nothing else to be said. I'm calling out the world heavyweight champion. Yeah, and it's gonna be up to you to uh, to accept. And I, I mean, he kind of makes sense. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh man, we uh, we have to uh, see what'll happen tonight. But uh, I don't like the uh, I don't like the chances for the dragon. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just be real with you. Like he gives great matchups, and that's that comes with his training. And Jaden Shadow, like, I, I really believe that he's going to be a huge star or could be a huge star here in NHW. But we will really have to see. I mean, it, he definitely got the attention of Devin Harrell. And, and, and Raymond Black has just been pretty quiet on the situation. But, I mean, as champion, he really doesn't have much to worry about, does he? Like, he just gets to the, to the business, you know what I'm saying? Which he does very well. I mean, the man literally in season two has two losses to his name. Two. And one was losing the tag team championship. No, so he only has one. And that was losing the uh, the tag team championship. That's, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's interesting there. So, you know, a lot of momentum on the side of Raymond Black. But this man has also not lost since he's been here. Um... And we'll see him probably in some form or fashion in uh, honor battle. Pretty sure he's going to make the travel across the pond, and and we'll uh, we'll have to see. But right now, there is the dragon. There is Jaden Shadow. There's the time limit. The ref. Let's get to work. Jaden, ooh, starting off already. Oh, okay. He's just going for it right off. Let's let's just snap his arm right away. <laughs> oh man. And ooh, Jaden back on him again. Oh, he's gonna take him up and just got a mighty fisherman brain buster. And he is not playing around with the dragon. Uh ooh. And he is is he trying to make him submit? It looks like it. Oh, that Cobra guy, he had his foot under the rope. Bad placement there. But uh Ooh, excuse me. Almost sneezed and blew my microphone away. <laughs> Wee! And I'm finally getting a move in. Ooh, big kick to the gut. And oh, mm, slap, slap. Just triple slaps, and now he is feeling it himself. 
Jaden a little uh, a little beside himself, but that doesn't matter as he sends him over the top rope and deposits him on the outside. And as we look at the new ring apron here for NHW and the uh, up there on the stage, uh, you have to uh, thank our associate, per well, yeah, associate director, producer, uh, Lexi for her help since she has not been on tv she's been very helpful backstage and getting some things together and uh you know we we give we give props where it's due so there we go and he is oh power bomb into a cutter as he is at the count of six we only do 10 counts here and now back into the ring he goes Let's see what he can do here. If he's going to be able to get keep that momentum. And, ooh, gets the arm. And once again, like we said, he normally gives great matchups. But, oh, my. Mm. Man. Yeah, he, he gives great matchups. But he's got his, he's definitely got his work cut out for him. Because I don't think that Jaden is going to let that happen. God, back out the ring we go. One. Ooh, throws him up against the apron. Two. And now really just, ooh, working the back out there. Ooh. Uh-oh. Going in and... Oh, my God. Gets him again. And, wow, really taking him down. We're at the uh, count of seven as they get back into the ring. I'm just, I'm really just at wow right now. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, okay. And. Uh-oh. Oh, somebody going for a ride. What we got happening here? Is this the Spanish fly? This is an avalanche Spanish fly. Both men getting the bad end of that stick. You got to commit to something like that. And now he is looking to stalk his prey. The dragon might be through here. Oh, my God, that knee taking him out right in the center of the ring. There is nowhere for him to go. One, two, Three and Jaden Shadow is able to keep that undefeated streak alive, even though the dragon was definitely game here tonight. Uh, I ain't nothing that, that that was the beginning right there. If his foot hadn't have been under the rope, he might have been in some trouble, but he was able to put on a good fight. But this was the end of it right there. Just that big knee right to the face, nowhere for him to go. Ref was even lost. Here is your winner, Jaden. So here's your winner, Jaden Shadow, once again. And we will see what he can do as we go forward and if his challenge will be answered at Honor Battle. All right, let's get on to the next match. And match two is three contestants. That will be in the... Uh, in the uh, championship scramble for the first blood championship. First is good old Bishop Stone. From Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 295 pounds, Bishop Stone. And Bishop Stone here, who hasn't had the greatest of successes. I mean, he's got a couple wins here in season two, but uh, the for, he he's going to be in the first blood championship scramble match and as i've said there's another one as well and, and actually there's two more there's the tag team one um and then there's one more and the the one more will actually be the first match of the night haha -ha, the extra one um so we'll definitely see what that is going to be um but right now we have bishop stone taking on ben yorn ulstrom and one Joey Myers who has not been seen very much this season but it's the first blood championship and he brought it here so uh, oh, 
Let's see what he can do because this is a first blood triple threat match. And now coming to the ring, uh, Ben Yorn Alstrom, who. And Ben Yorn Olstrom, I, I really do, uh, I, I like this dude, you know, former television champion here in NHW, trying to get him his second piece of gold. I mean, we haven't heard much from him words-wise, but he always shows up for his matchups and uh, puts on a show. So let's see if he can't make his opponents uh, don the crimson mask as we go forward and... Uh, Possibly, you know, get himself a win. Get himself some of that momentum as we head towards Honor Battle next week. And there he is. That is a massive end of it. Like, look at, like, whoever's looking at him at the back, they looking at all that muscle in the back. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we've seen this man beat the likes of uh, former uh, television champion and actually former employee, uh, Furious Frank. Uh, he went toe to he's. Not yet gone toe to toe with Ben Frame. That's what I was about to say, but he definitely has. Uh, uh, he has definitely worked his way into top tier conversation here in NHW, uh, but he has this man to deal with right now, the psychopath himself. And Joey Myers here, we, like I said, we have not seen him in a while. We've seen his, uh, the tag team version of his little society, but we have not seen him. And so now we, we are getting a chance to see him back in the ring, see if he can't uh, knock these two out with the Crimson Mask, see if that ring rust has hit him or if it even matters because the guy is just a little bit out there. Uh, <laughs> just a touch. Um, and, and, and he's still doing the weird movements and such, have you? So, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's this is gonna be a very interesting matchup. And there we have the three men. And there goes the bell, and let's get to it as Ben Yorns is going to start off. Big old spine buster showing his strength already to Bishop Stone and a big knee there from Joey Myers. And Joey Myers right now has the overall advantage, but Alstrom didn't stay down long, and now a pump handle slam from Bishop Stone. He is feeling it, but he needs to pay attention because now he's about to get his shin bone messed up. And, ooh, takes him over and now just going to deadlift him. Deadlift him into the German. Oh, okay. I said German. I got excited because I thought he was going to do like the power bomb with the printing combination. Whoa, spit out power bomb, blue thunder bomb. I believe that it is called. And Ben Yorn is like, yeah, let me go on out here and take a moment and <laughs> collect myself. Smart move there. Jesus. And there's Joey Myers. Wee! Oh, off the rope and a big time knee. Drops him on that on that uh, knee brace of his. Oops! And then gets ran over by a boot. And now Ben your uh oh reversal into the DDT. Oh, and very few people do you see handle Ben and Alstrom like that. And now it looks like Bishop Stone is going for some toys. Oh, he went for, oh, he went straight for the big time toy too. S oh, sludgy. Don't get dropped on it though. Ooh, big shot to the old. Oh my god. Well, just rearranged his insides. And Alstrom now we can do uh Ooh, slow down. Joey Myers a little bit slamming that knee. Oh boy. And there's that big old spine buster again. Oh. You can still use them legs to kick off, though. And now. 
Ooh, fall away slam by Bishop Stone showing his power. Oh man, this is gonna be oh guzzled. Going up and down with the big choke slam. Ostrom was uh, not paying attention and got caught up in that belly to belly suplexy. Mm. And Bishop is now having his way here. And oh my goodness, dumped him right on top of his head. And now just going to lift him up. Is he going to throw him? Yeah, he threw him, but he didn't make it out of the ring. He is really feeling it right now. The objective here is, of course, to get your opponent to bleed just a touch from the top of his head. Woo! Oh, good reversal. Uh-oh. Benny Horn said, I want you. Oops. And here they go. They're just having a fit. <laughs> oh, dear. And, oh, God, his insides. Wee back body drop takes him down. And you see that clock is steady ticking away. This is gonna be the issue with the six man championship scramble. Like there's gonna be a time limit, of course, because you know, I don't have it in me to do another like what freaking four hour pay per view. That's not happening, yo. Especially as season two comes to a close, there is only going to be one more pay-per-view and then we'll have a couple off shows here and there just as I kind of uh, feel up to it kind of like how AEW was before they actually got a TV deal we'll just have like a sporadic show here and or there and uh, that'll be leading up to bloody Friday Jesus the bloody Friday I think the next pay-per-view is revolution though mine I have to look um, look, y'all know how I do it. I don't always come into this 100%. I am a still a wrestler as well. So, I be out of it. <laughs> I don't be here all the time. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, reversal kick to the gut. And the ref's only, the ref's only job here is to uh, make sure that when they don the crimson mask that they uh, get out of the ring. Jesus. Woo, good God, that was a spear and a half. Took out both men at one time. And now just going to punch Joey Myers repeatedly in the head. Still no blood yet from that lunatic. And Ben Yorn must have forgot it was a first blood match. Looked like he was trying to roll over there to a uh, pinning combination. Woo, ooh. Missed a punch. Uh-oh. Oh, he got caught, and Bishop Stone just got planted. Still don't know what the name of that move is, but it is okay. And, ooh. Jeez, just delivering all the right hands. He said, bleed, bleed. And then there he goes. And Joey Myers might just have a little bit more ring rust than I gave him credit for because he is just getting worked right now. God, and checked his own face for blood, and there was none there, and now he's going to... Ooh, that didn't really affect him. He is just murdering people with that uh that uh, uh spine buster. Oh, ref bump. Snap suplex. Woo, boy. He was about to go for a ride with that choke slam. We have eight minutes left. And you just imagine, there's going to be three more people, at least in this championship scramble. Three more people going. And, oh, my God. Rake of the eyes. Ooh. Uh-oh. Kick to the gut. Around we go. And a big neck breaker there. And Alstrom. Ooh. Slides out of the ring. What do we have? Mm, Joey Myers and oh, no blood still. <laughs> That's normally his move. We've seen Joey Myers win the title twice with that very move. And now he is taunting instead of staying on his opponents. 
And, uh, yeah, this could be an issue. I, I could see it being a problem. Just like that. Ran him into the corner. Now, uh oh. Double underhooks are in. Double underhook DDT. And Joey Myers manages to win because Ben Yorn Ulstrom was just getting into the ring as he planted him. But Ben Yorn very much showed that he is. Uh, He's there. You know what I mean? He's... Ooh, boy, oh boy. Papers almost went flying everywhere. Got to turn that fan off. Uh, <laughs> he very much just showed that he can hang with the big men of the hardcore division, the first blood division. But there's Joey Myers with his first victory as he comes back. Congratulations to him. Let's get to match three. Kinky Tammy versus Jocelyn Boss. And now we have Kinky Tammy back in action after uh, not, she got a fair shake, but she hasn't been uh, seen in a while. And Kinky Tammy uh, and Jocelyn Bass apparently have a lot of uh, hatred towards one another from uh, from uh, Yams Corporation. The UCC, these two are very much not friends, and uh, this matchup came about uh, due to a request. I'm not sure where the request came from. All I know is that Kinky Tammy will be fighting Jocelyn Bass tonight, and Kinky Tammy's record speaks for itself. Two losses in Season 2, one of them being the loss of the Women's World Championship. Um... So we'll die. I mean, so she can. She is in line to ask for, you know, a title shot at the prestigious women's title or whatever she's got to do. But here comes Jocelyn Bass representing the New Dawn and her husband. Uh, and her I think that's her husband. From New York. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Uh. <laughs> I should, I should really know these things, but I don't. Anyway, uh, Bobby Boss and Jocelyn Boss. Uh, yes, yeah, his wife. Good gracious. I had to go back and look at stuff. Do not mind me. I, as I said earlier, I am tired. I did some training. And, uh, yeah, I can tell, too. Games. Anyway, uh, Jocelyn Bass and <laughs> Jocelyn Boss. 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 And Kinky Tammy will be going at it here. And we will see if Kinky Tammy uh, can continue her ways. Because when she's in matches, I, I guess it's a good thing they don't get paid by the hour. Um, they legitimately just uh, get a... She, she comes out here, she chucks some eye out, she continues on with the day. Like, like didn't nothing just happen. And uh, we, uh, we're going to see how that works out as we go forward and continue on about the day. Uh, let's see. Oh. oh, okay. And Kinky Tammy really just not having it starting off. Big old DDT just, just have at the starting off the mat. Ooh, kicks are over. And now that there it is. The rope is right there, but oh, she was able to get to it, so no tap out just yet. But you do have to look out for that guillotine choke because she flips you over, and most times she has good ring placement about it. And she flips you over, and then you're in the middle of the ring, and she's about to try to kick her head into the third row. Oh my goodness! And Jocelyn doing the smart thing there, getting out of the ring. Jocelyn has not been seen since she lost the prestigious world, the prestigious women's championship to Alexia Monroe. And whoa, okay. And ooh, wee. Oh, good gracious. Big knee into a bulldog combination platter. And no nope, shot to the gut. And there was a boot to the face. Just out of nowhere, one count. Again, these two have a a heated history, of, <laughs> from what I've been told. Big knee into the neck breaker, and we will see 
if this continues on past tonight or whether this will be a one-off, but you can tell now that Jocelyn has her feet under her. She is not happy with how she was mistreated here in the beginning of the matchup and bloop, yanks her, th her throat out, kind of. Don't, don't worry about me. I promise I'm okay. No, nah, don't make that promise. That'd be a lot. Um, yeah. Ooh, she's not okay either. She took that back elbow to the forehead and another knee to the face and back into the pin. One, still only a one count. And Kinky Tammy just working on the head, which makes sense for what she does. There it is, right there. Bad placement. Though, well, the ref is right there, so if she taps, there's nothing to. I mean, he can't say that she was under the rope or anything. Oh, wow, not able to tap her out. That is the first time I've seen her do that move and not tap her opponent out. Oh, downward spiral. Nope. Oh, she wasn't having any of that broke away quickly and said no you will not have my face today and now Jocelyn with the combination platter ended with the knee to the face oh god big shot to the midsection and, oh another big shot to the midsection okay she popped up and then met her when she turned around with a drop kick to the face and Kinky Tammy said nope I need a moment to breathe let me slide out right quick. And throws her back in the ring. Ooh, big kick. And now trying to pull her arm out of place. All right. Jocelyn Boss really working on it here. Ooh. Working on that. And now uh, it looks like she is getting ready to uh, end this. Oh, my Lord. That knee was huge and out of control. <laughs> that knee was out of control. Big knee takes her down. One, two, still only a two count. And now Jocelyn Boss is, is taunting a little bit to the crowd. Now looking at her opponent. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we got a clothesline, a back elbow. Jocelyn loves those combinations. Never just sends you home with one hit. Got to take a couple of them with you, and there's the last shot of that one. And now she gets back into the ring. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought she was going to get caught. Oh, okay. Just a throwing black. Back suplex words. One of these days I'd learn to talk about them. And now, oh, a little dance and a little dancey dance before the moon salt. And going up to the top rope the quickest way she knows how. And a 450 splash. Wow. Straight into the cover. One, two. Three, and Jocelyn Bass is able to beat Kinky Tammy, giving her her third loss on the year as Jocelyn Bass only has one. Wow. And Kinky Tammy really did start off hot in this matchup. I mean, she was on fire. There's that guillotine. She was not able to tap her out. And she went for this, and Jocelyn automatically was like, nope, and gave her a stiff back elbow. And the worst part about them back elbows from anybody, that bone in your elbow hurts. Hey, you can. And then you just eat that knee. And let's see if they know they're not going to show the 450, but Here there is your. Winner, Joyce Boss. So Jocelyn Boss has won the matchup. Congratulations to her. Now the rest of New Dawn will be in the next match in the main event. All right, and let's, let's go ahead and get to this main event because I need a nice bath. 
Oh, man. But, uh, yeah, coming to the ring first, in case you couldn't tell, is the kingdom being led by PK King Eddie J on your left and the sniper on your right. Making his way to the ring at a combined weight of 726 pounds, PK King Eddie oh. This is what, uh, this is a comment. So, PK King fights Bobby Boss next week on Honor Battle, unless it turns into the championship scramble. Dun, dun, dun. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, with that in mind, these, these two teams have been literally fighting for almost a month now. I mean, just trying their best to end each other, uh, <laughs> And, you know, as a person who uh, has been a big fan of this rivalry, I mean, they've, they're they one and one against one another, tag team, uh, and, well, these guys have the tag team win, and Eddie J actually has a singles win as well. So they're two and one, but anyway, this right here, I mean, you got to think about it, this is faction warfare at its finest and to be honest i'm here for every lick of it um these guys have the potential to be huge here and especially if pk king can knock off the current european champion and bring himself some gold uh this match so the, these guys Mr. Boss and Mr. King actually have already had a match, but there was a third party involved, and that was the Outsider. Um, but the rivalry continued after that pay-per-view between these two, and you know, uh, PK King was literally like, uh, "I'm getting another shot." That's exactly what he did. He went right on up there and got him another shot at the uh, at the at the championship, and that's what's coming. Uh, next week at Honor Battle, dun 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 dun, and we will see what happens with that. But right now, nope, there they come. And what we have right now is the new Don coming to the ring. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and say, I'm gonna go say ahead and say that this is gonna be an interesting little matchup here because this is the first time that all six have been in this in in the ring together at one time, and of course being led by Bobby Boss, the current NHW European Champion, and Big Tito to his left, Angelo White to his right. And these six men are about to get it in a good fight feel, big fight feel, I should say, is, is, is what we have going on here. And I am excited for it. I think that this could be uh, a, a huge, huge thing. Um, I mean, especially, so let's think about this. If the kingdom gets the win, if they get the W and, 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 you know, Bobby Boss is the champion. Like, what is he going to do? Will he dismiss the new Don because they weren't able to do their job? I mean, will he dis uh, or will PK King, you know, well, I doubt he'll dismiss his boys. He, him, he has more of a loyalty to his boys, I think, than Bobby. Bobby just leads these guys, but he has been a true champion to the word. He's been a fighting champion. He has not turned anyone down. Big Tito the muscle. Um he he has literally been there you know if you want to get to the champ you got to go through him and eddie j was able to pin him for the tree count last time we had an in your house if i'm not mistaken so you know i know that didn't make bobby boss happy and uh hey we're, we're just gonna have to see what happens here i am very excited for this triple threat match and here we go. PK King is actually starting off, but of course Bobby's not. He's letting Angelo start off in 30 minute time limit. Let's get to it. This is God, an elimination matchup. Will Barrow Stunner. Uh, this is a 
as we call it, NHW Survivor Match on In Your House. You know, why not? I told you, these shows are not one versus the other. It is literally the same show. Or not the same show. There's no B show. Ball and elbow coming from PK King. We're going to see if he's able to... uh, uh Uh-oh. Ooh, Angelo able to get a little bit in that spinning heel kick. And he's fighting with with dress shoes on. So I already have more respect for Angelo because them dress shoes... You know, last time I saw somebody wrestling dress shoes was The Rock, and he did, did the slide in people's elbow. You know what I'm saying? Another ball and elbow on the other side, so he's then been hit from both sides with it. And, ooh, kick takes him over. And now going to do that move that I just can't stand and just twist that arm, trying to dislocate all that, just cut all that loose. And now going to throw him into the corner now. Ooh, oh, oh, my Lord. Shot to the back of the head, clothesline into the corner, and he is really feeling it. Telling Bobby Boston as he goes with the Bronco Buster to Angelo White. That is great. Oh, man. And, oh, a big kick over the top rope. Eddie J moved out of the way, and between the ropes for a Hooten Canrana. Oh, man. And PK King here, we do utilize that 10 count, so they do have to be aware of that. And a big spinning back suplex. Ooh. Oh, God. There we go. He made it in the ring that time. And, oh, the big hot tag was made to Big Tito. And P.K. King is still in there. Should he be? Probably not. Because he is the smallest of the ones in there. Good God. Oh, man. And his hot tag was made. And here come the two big hosses just getting it in. Ooh. Ooh, big uppercut shot. Oh, thought it was a shot to the gut. Oh, takes him down. P.K. King is back on the apron. Single leg crab, but he is in the wrong corner. All they have to do is reach in, but they do not as he gets kicked off. And we have not yet had an elimination as we are coming to five minutes in. And I will be honest with you, I saw these guys slugging it out in the back. So the fact that they are still fighting behooves me. Uh, it was a pull apart brawl that they had to deal with. Oh my god. He just turned him around and turned his lights out. And now Eddie J with the ripcord into the lariat. And into the pin. Hooked the leg. And PK was not able to get there in time. But that poison run of the Angela White. <clears throat> definitely helps because Bobby has not made a move off the apron. Wow. And now waiting for him again. Oh, has him up. Is that the reverse? That valley driver just dumps him down on his head. And now he's going to drag him to the ring and look at Bobby. He's hanging off the ropes like he had an issue one. Two, still only a two count spider or sniper. I'm sorry, came in. Oh my god, big elbow to the back of the head. And Eddie J is literally just picking up with Big Tito where he left off the last time these two had a match. And we F5 deposits him right on his face, goes for the pin. Neither man coming in to help. And Big Tito has been eliminated. And of course. Bobby Boss did not even go. He didn't even jump in the ring. Like, he has yet to be in the ring. And, ooh, Angelo White, who has already been in the matchup, should probably be out of it at this point, but he's not. And, um, 
What is he doing now? Oh, he's about to literally kick his ass. Oh, God. Right in the cheeks. Oh, man. Big vertical suplex there, and now he is trying to make the hot tag, and he does. Bobby Boss does not want to be out here by himself. Oh, with a nice slide through, taking him down right at the knees, taking away the power, but... Oh, wait, he was able to catch him as he was trying to come up on the come up. Big, big face buster there. One. Oh, he just took out the ref. He said, screw all the dumb stuff. <laughs> he said, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not having any of it. I'm here for it. Oh. And look at him. The ref is still down, so he has time to really, like, work him out. But he took too long with the taunting and posing and then just got ran over into the corner. And Big Tito was the first one gone, and now he's choking him out. If I was him, I would go let him, uh, I would go let, I would go make the tag to PK. You know what I'm saying? But I guess Big Tito has the muscle of, or not Big Tito, yeah, Eddie J. As the muscle of the group, as you saw with that move, uh, he is uh, showing his dominance here. And, of course, he drags him to the corner. And then pins him in the corner. Nice move there, too. Only a two count. Not able to get rid of the champion just yet. Ooh, big kick to the back. But Bobby was like, nah, bruh. Not having that. Throws him into the corner. And what do we have going here? Oh, he went for the tag. That didn't work. The ref's about to get destroyed again. Yep, there he goes. Ref bump. And, ooh, getting out of harm's way if he can. And a straight jacket. Ugh. Just dropped him on the back of his head. No way to protect himself because he had both of his arms. And Angelo over there looks like he's been through a fight. PK we know has been through a fight. Sniper over there waiting for his chance to get in the match. Big Tito already eliminated. Woo! There's that thrust kick that has actually put a lot of people away, but he does not go for the pin and gets reversed. And now, oh, I thought he was going to choke him out. And now another beautifully executed uh, suplex there. And Eddie J going to lift him up. Nope, not happening. You got to remember, this is the champion. And he is really feeling it now, just letting his opponent tag in. And whoo, boy. Boy, did he run him over. Uh-oh, he missed that. PK King. And, oh, the spear. Still not as good as mine, but it's okay. It's okay. Going to the top rope the fastest way he knows how. And a big frog splash, committing his whole body to that. One, two, and PK King able to save him. And this is the first time these two have hands on each other. And Bobby Boss gets the better of them, of, of, the, of the exchange, even though he wound up on his face as well. He was committed to taking PK King out of the equation for the moment with the blood on his hands. And, ooh, oh, 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 okay, DDT taking him down. And if I may be honest, this is probably one of the better survivor matches we've had. Oh, okay, just d deposited him on his head. Like, I felt his spine compress. And now off the ropes he goes. Ooh, big shot to the head. And now it might be all up to Angelo because this man has legitimately been through all three competitors. Oh, God. He knocked him out. Bobby Boss has been knocked out cold. And it's up to Angelo White now to save the new Don from being completely ran through by these guys. Ooh, runs him over with the knee. Oh, picks him up, showing his strength. Into the TKO, slides into the pin. Will he get in one, two? 
three and Angelo is able to kind of whoa now not sure what just happened there I know he was he he was able to get sniper eliminated Eddie J still on the apron and there's that big spinning cutter got him clean hooks the leg there's no way he can all right I lied there's a way he can kick out of that just like he did but PK King said let's go for another ride Let's go for another ride. We, oh no, he was able to reverse it. Uh-oh, not that though. That wheelbarrow stunner really caught him flush. And boop, boop. And ooh, takes him down. And oh, big kick to the chest there. And Angelo White is feeling it. Can he come bring this back and win it for his squad? He is definitely going to try Northern Light Suplex. Go ahead for the flip over into powers them up for the suplex. Beautifully, beautifully done. And now he is waiting on him. He's stalking his prey up. Mm, that knee up into the TK. Oh, and straight into the pin yet again. One, two. Only a two count. PK King showing what he has left in the tank. And this has to be irritating for Bobby Boss. Who, ooh. This has to be irritating for Bobby Boss. Who legitimately uh, was eliminated not by PK King. And PK King is still in there. Has survived a couple finishers at this point. Eddie J still showing the effects. I mean, both of them are holding that crimson mask to the top rope. He goes. And, oh, uh, as a reverse Phoenix splash, why did he not go for the pin? I am confused. Angelo White is really putting in that work, trying to get this victory for his squad. Ooh. But it is still two on one. So all this energy that he is using to take out PK King <coughs> might be all for naught. You know what I mean? Because never mind. It's now one on one, and well, uh, Eddie J. Uh, yeah, the big powerhouse has him up and down. Oh my God! Knocked him out, and the kingdom come away with the victory here literally he came in and was like i got something for you uh, but the main competitors pk king and bobby boss were eliminated even though they will meet next week they will definitely meet next week now because the kingdom was able to put away uh the, the new dawn even though and i say this even though Angelo White came to fight tonight, ladies and gentlemen. He he was here for it, um, but we will definitely hear from Bobby Boss at the beginning of Honor Battle. Uh, as he walked up past me, he said he wanted to mic at Honor Battle, and we'll make sure he gets one to make an announcement. And there they go. Congratulations to him. Have a good night, everyone. Like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you for Honor Battle.